Hello everyone, I'm Sean, alright, and this is Everyday Food Reviews. Today, I've got a can of Rockstar Tropical Punched, or Rockstar Juiced Energy Tropical Punched. Now I know we've said that we're only going to look at the big brands, Rockstar, Monster, um, what have you, uh, the two of us, me, uh, myself and John, but we're struggling to get any videos in at the moment with uh, lockdown and what have you. Um, you know, as, as the rules become less restrictive and it's safer to do so, we'll be able to do videos uh, together in real life again. And when we can, we're going to do a video together comparing this to Pipeline Punch. But I'm, I'm aware this is quite new. I'm aware a, a few people have mentioned it and uh, wanted to see a, a video of it. So I thought I'd, I'd get this out today. I've already uploaded the black energy that I did a few weeks ago, but I'll, I'll try and I'm try, trying to get this done on my lunchtime. I'm work, working from home again today, so if I can get this recorded and edited and uploaded in my lunchtime, um, yeah, you should should see it this afternoon, um, which will be cool. Now this it says tropical punched special edition. It does have juice in, and this is from Tesco. You might notice it says Rockstar Juiced Energy. That's like the mango one that was exclusive to Tesco. We'll put a link to that up here. And what, what that was was like a half sugar version of the El Mango. It was just called Juiced Mango. So this one, though, it doesn't seem to be a half sugar version of anything else. It says Special Edition. As far as I'm aware, it's only in Tesco. I found it in the same Tesco Express that I found the, the mango one in, um, actually. It's got just 4.9 grams of sugar. But, you know, with the, with the name of it, and with the pink can, I'm expecting it to be like a half sugar version of Monster's Pipeline Punch. Very much like the Mango one was a half sugar version of the Rockstar L Mango, which was kind of like a Rockstar version of the Mango Loco. So, we'll get into it. This, this does have the usual amount of caffeine, I think, 32 milligrams per 100 mil, it does, and uh, as I've said, 4.9 grams of sugar. Now that does mean it's got significantly, well, a, a little bit less than half of a pipeline punch. I think they have about 11 or 12 grams per 100 mil. So we've got a orangey, pinky, cloudy colour which is very much like Pipeline Punch, if you've ever actually poured that into a glass, it's very similar. I think the Pipeline Punch might be a little bit more pinky. And yeah, it's, it... It smells like Pipeline Punch. Now, I don't know if it's just my imagination, because I know there's a lot less sugar in there, but it smells less syrupy. There is 6% fruit juice. I think Pipeline Punch has about 12 or 15 percent so that there's half as much sugar but also half as much fruit juice and we can see the, the consistency is not that thick but it is cloudy like we know that there is fruit juice in there it smells a lot like pipeline punch this is cold out the fridge but it smells like it's potentially a bit cleaner which is also what I found of the El Mango versus Mango Loco cheers That's very nice. I like that. It's it's not as it's not as juicy. It's considerably noticeably less juicy. But it is it is pretty fresh. It's a lot less sweet, but you got that sharpness coming through. And I said in, in the mango one, personally I prefer that, like the mango one. I don't know if it was the mango and lime, the same as they have in America and it was just called El Mango, but it, it tasted significantly sharper. A bit, a bit punchier than the, the monster. Uh, most people, I think, do prefer the monster. They find it smoother and fruitier, which is fine. And if if you prefer Mango Loco to El Mango, then you'll probably prefer Pipeline Punch to this. But like I said, we will do a, a direct side by side comparison. Um, most of the time when I've had Pipeline Punch, it's not been as cold as I'd like it to be because I've got it while I'm out and about rather than from my own fridge at home. 
so that could be coming into it but we'll do uh, myself and John because I know John um, preferred the Monster Mango Loco I know he's a big fan of Pipeline Punch uh, I think he preferred the Pipeline Punch to the Pacific Punch even when I preferred the Pacific Punch so I think we're, we're probably going to have slightly different uh, views on it like like I say I just wanted to get get this video out there today just a sort of first impression thing then we'll go into more depth and compare it to the the monster one in a, in a future video but yeah so this is a lot it's a lot sharper um, I watched another review of this can't remember his name I'll, I'll put his name and I'll put a link to his video in the description but he, he described it as very tart so I've been dancing around the word tart um, because I didn't want to just you know repeat someone else's video but I think that that is the the most appropriate word for it especially in comparison to pipeline punch it's it's tarter you know I, I I'd often say sharper but I've got I've got that word in my head and I think that is a better word tart and personally I, I really like that it's got it's got almost like a, like an ice lolly sort of feel to it you know like it's it's sweet it's it's a bit refreshing but it's not too thick and sticky it, it tastes like a like an ice pop or something it's got that sort of flavor to it to me um as for recommending it i'd say I know, I know a lot of people aren't fans of the half sugar drinks so you, you'll know whether you're gonna gonna appreciate the extra sweeteners in here oh it does only it's six percent apple juice from concentrate it does also have one percent guava puree and one percent mango puree so it's, it's more like eight percent juice really um, still less than the monster it does have uh, sucralose and ace K in it sweeteners so if, if you're not a big fan of the sweeteners and you, you like your full sugar stuff you'll probably want to stay clear if you if you're a big fan of mango loco compared to el mango you'll probably want to stay clear but I'd, I'd say most people if you like the the juice drinks the monster punches for for 99p because that that's that's why it's half sugar is because it's 99p and they can put it on the Tesco meal deal if you're in Tesco and that they've they've got you looking for an energy especially if you're looking for an energy drink just give it a go but you know if 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 you're in Tesco you see it for a quid and you you're into energy drinks just pick it up and give it a go um you you, you might not like it but you're only a pound down um i think it's i'd like to say it's like the pacific punch versus the pipeline punch it's a similar thing but it's a bit different so you'll probably like it but you might not prefer it but some of the comments we've got about the El Mango, uh, a, lot, a lot of people can't stand it. And I don't know what it is that's in it that they can't stand because I actually prefer it. So I'm reluctant to say you will like this. Because I'd have said that about El Mango compared to Mango Loco. You, you will like it, but you probably won't prefer it. But a lot of people just outright don't like it. So you might, you might be one of those people. But I like it. Yeah, I, I like it. it. It is a bit, bit tart, but you you know, you know I like that. I like that extra sort of uh, sourness, like extra bit of sourness to give give some of these drinks a bit more of an edge. And um, I, I I think they've done a good job. I'll pick that up again for a pound, especially with it with it being a half sugar one. I'll, I'll probably still get a sugar free one most of the time, but personally, I'd pick that up over Pipeline. But we'll. we'll We'll say, we'll say more about that in, in the comparison review, because I'm going off memory. I've not had Pipeline in a long time, because I've been drinking Pacific Punch instead. Um, and I'd probably still pick up Pacific Punch over this, if I'm if it's a day where I'm not too worried about the sugar. But yeah, I'll uh, wrap it up there, try and get this uploaded quickly. Um, so you'll have two videos in, in one day, and then hopefully... Um, sometime in the foreseeable future, I've got I've got the other can downstairs. 
go and pick up a can of pipeline, go to John's house or uh, get him to come here, and we'll uh, we'll look at that. But uh, it, it, I would have said we could we could have done it on FaceTime, but you know we'd be having two cans each. They're they're not resealable because the next FaceTime video we're aiming to do is the Monster Hydro Sport. So with with having two of them, we're not going to be able to do that on the same day. We're going to need to sort out another day to do that. We, we can't reseal these and put them back in the fridge like we can with the Hydro Sport. It's going to be a, a lot of caffeine, um, a lot of sugar. I think it's it's better to do it do it this way. I'll get this video out and then we'll we'll have a comparison video together where we've just got one can of each and, and we can we can share them together. So um, hopefully that's okay and people understand that. Uh, we just uh, Doing, doing what we can at the moment. Doing, doing what we what we think's best. Make making some decisions we wouldn't necessarily otherwise make. But we're, we're trying to do what's best for ourselves um, in terms of safety. Um, myself in terms of making the videos, it, it helps helps me a lot. Gives me some something to to do other than than work and uh, Pokemon cards. I might get in. I might get some flack for them I'm into Pokemon cards at the moment. I've got piles of Pokemon cards all over the table. Like, I've got some new uh, reverse hollow peers from the new set. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll get judged for for that. But yeah, it's 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 something more more productive than than Pokemon cards. Um, and yeah, John John's still working shifts. So I've rambled on a lot now. I'll I'll, I'll cut it. Thanks very much for watching. Um, We'll see you next time. Thank, uh, thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you next time. Stay safe. Cheers.